another she video. Why another she video? Because guys are still screwing up. And so I don't know if the 20 million videos I've done before are too long or I need to put naked women in them. Maybe you guys need to get off your phone and get on a computer and watch them. But here's uh, what to do and what not to do when doing she observers. Let's start with the cam plate. Cam plate sliders have a mark. Think of it as an I. It stands for inside. Um, so make sure that's facing towards the dished portion of your cam plate. And make sure you're inserting them all the way down. Um, there's a tool here. If you buy UTV Engineering's or Weller Racing, that tool, insert them all around the cam plate. Once you have them installed, make sure your cam plate moves up and down freely and doesn't bind. Okay? So that's tip number one. Okay, next tip. A lot of you guys are, uh, you're not holding your cam plate in when you're installing your primary sliding sheave. This cam plate needs to be pushed in all the way. So to help you do that, cut up some pieces of foam, wad up some towels, crushed up aluminum, cut off somebody's hand and stick it in there. Do something so this cam plate stays pressed all the way in. If you're greaseless like I am, just um, reinstall your grease cover and use two bolts and then remove it when you're done. Make sure when you use something to hold this in that it's obvious it's in there because I can see some guys stuffing stuff in here and then forgetting about it and then disaster all over again. So when you guys are installing your secondary sheave, make sure you remove your spreader bolts. Don't put them in until later. So you want to point your sheave towards passenger rear. See how that slides on? Don't put it on all the way. Now you can put your spreader bolts in and then um, remove any protective covering if you have it. A lot of mistake guys are making is they're tightening their install their primary sliding sleeve sheave and they don't have enough slack in this belt. So when they go to tighten it, it's tightening up against the belt. You need to make sure that you have maximum slack here. When you tighten down this primary nut, you're not engaging this belt. So take a piece of wire, wrap it around the belt, and pre-tension it for you for when you install the sheet. So, And you can see here, see the splines? So the trick is you want to make sure between the trick of um, doing that and stuffing foam in your can plate to make sure it's bottomed out, hopefully you can avoid any more issues with guys uh, screwing it up. Angle. So if I tighten my bolt hand tight and spin it in the other direction. See how the sheaves free to move? You know your belt's not binding on the nut. And now I can uh, hug a dugga, or if you have a couple linebackers, you can use the proper tools to torque it to spec. So before you remove your foam, remove your, uh, your spreader, secondary spreader bolts, and turn this. Make sure that belt has tension on the primary sliding, and then you can remove this. And for you guys going greaseless, remove your grease cover. So this is another critical thing. You're installing your bearing support cage bolts. A lot of guys are getting this cockeyed. 
So no impacts, only by hand. Okay. And they should go in with no problem. You shouldn't have to use any mechanical advantage to get them initially in. If you hear a bolt pop, that means you have something in car tied. It shouldn't take many, very many turns to get those, those tight once they're hand tight. If you're having to use leverage to screw those in, this thing is cockeyed. And once you have those tightened, you should be able to turn this very easily by hand. If you feel binding, pull your bearing support cage off and try again. Also, make sure there's two dowels um, that those didn't pop out and that they're, they're installed properly. The last thing you want to do after manually um, spinning this and making sure nothing's binding is you want to put it in neutral, put the parking brake on, warm her up to temperature if she's not up to temperature, and then spin her up and make sure the sheaves open and close smoothly. Let's do that now. See my temperature lights out. <laughs> Okay, and that's it. If you guys screw this up, go jump off a cliff.